Polar vortex is a common topic on the internet this time of the year, and now this term is spreading across social media platforms once again as intriguing weather model information is coming to light. Videos and news stories are being released claiming that the polar vortex is about to collapse, creating snowy and frigid chaos by the new year. Is this really true though? Is all the attention on a supposed polar vortex worth paying attention to, or is it all just a bunch of senseless hype? Well, that's exactly what I wanted to talk about in this video, and instead of showing you a bunch of weather models and all the what-ifs, I'm going to explain exactly what the polar vortex is and what it isn't. Then, I'll explain if we really have to be concerned about a polar vortex breakdown by the end of the year. First off, we need to understand what the polar vortex really is. There is actually two polar vortexes, one is in the troposphere and the other one is in the stratosphere. For the sake of this video, I wanted to focus on the stratospheric polar vortex. This vortex is not just some huge megastorm that develops over the Arctic and then descends upon the mid-latitudes. It's simply a vortex of polar air in the stratosphere that stays there year-round, but strengthens during the winter months. When this vortex is strong, it keeps all that cold air locked up, leading to relatively mild conditions further south. On the other hand, a weaker polar vortex is susceptible to breaking down, which would make it lose its grip on all that cold air, therefore unleashing it across North America, Asia, and Europe. So now we know what the polar vortex is, so what does that mean for the new year? This is the 10 millibar temperature anomaly today, December 25th. What you're seeing here is a strong polar vortex, but the interesting part is what happens as we get closer to 2024. Watch as this region of warmer temperatures starts to slowly but surely surround the polar vortex over the next several days. By the time we reach the last few days of December, we see this area really getting warmer and instead of continuing to slowly take over, it really just suddenly gets stronger, therefore completely disrupting the vortex by the beginning of January, and within days the vortex splits into two pieces, one over Europe and the other over North America. What you just saw unfold was a phenomenon called a sudden stratospheric warming event, and the chances of this occurring are increasing. But remember, this is all happening in the stratosphere, so it's going to take some time before it reaches us on the surface, which begs the question, what will this mean for us in Europe and North America when it finally reaches the surface? Well, at this point in time, it's hard to say, other than it will probably get much colder with snowstorms being possible in some different areas. But just as an example, look at how much warmer than usual it is across the United States through the rest of December, and then by January, look at all that blue overtaking the country. This right here is a strong signal in a cold air outbreak dropping south. Perhaps even more impressive is a temperature anomaly for Europe. Far above average temperatures are overtaking much of Europe right now, and it will continue especially in western and southern areas through the end of December. And then once we pass January 5th, look at all that cold air that sets in and even persists for multiple days. While these model runs are intriguing and perhaps exciting for winter weather lovers, it's important not to latch on to what one model says, especially this far in advance. In conclusion of this video, my advice is to stay tuned to the latest weather updates as the situation unfolds. One way you can do so is by subscribing to my YouTube channel so you receive all of the latest weather forecasts and updates as they are released, and when we do know more about this potential polar vortex destabilization, you can be sure I'll be posting videos and additional updates on the channel. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.